There are many boat makers around the world and there are many ways to build boats. And then there's Cranky. Cranky's origins began on Lake Como in 1870, but it was 100 years later, in 1970, that Tullio Monzino and Aldo Cranky founded the company you see today, setting up production in the Veltalina at Piantedo. The two associates have one iron rule, invest in the working environment and the products themselves. And you can say that, as of today, they've reached their objectives. Even the crisis hasn't slowed them down. They've either been developing technologies inside the boatyard or updating the series. Tullio Monzino and Aldo Cranky are always at the helm of the company and the top of the dynasties that follow their father's footsteps, strengthened by every extraordinary experience. So what makes this boatyard so special? Maybe not everyone knows that the boat is made by artisans, i.e. pretty much crafted by hand. This romantic aspect of Cranky adapts perfectly to the building of exclusive examples, unique pieces, very expensive. But if we want an ideal boat at an ideal price, there's just one way forward. It's called industrialization. In the highest production years, Cranky was churning out a yacht every 2 hours and 42 minutes. In the four designated production areas, organisation reigns. Equipment, components and men deliver a productive cycle so precise you could say they're like a Swiss watch. Not by chance that Switzerland is behind that mountain. They've put lots of economic resources in to get to this point, creating huge and perfect production plants. Do you know how complex a boat is? It's like a villa that moves, challenges the sea, moving quickly through the waves. It's like it's continually involved in an earthquake, but worse, as it's in a salty environment that, as we know, is not good for machinery. There are all reasons a boat is one of the most complex things to bring to life. It's difficult to build, needs a great deal of components, and you need to build it quickly, otherwise it costs too much. So the secret is time-saving with a highly efficient production cycle. Starting on boat production, you need a mould, the foundations. The strength, security and aesthetics depend on it. So Cranky is quite obsessive about its moulds, protecting them from dust in a temperature-controlled environment. You shouldn't just look at the beauty of the boats, but definitely need to discover if they're built to perfection. The cloth for every model is here, ready to be stretched out on the moulds and start giving them a bit of personality. But where does the material come from? From the cutting room. All materials are cut here, not just the upholstery, but the fibreglass too, which is used to make the hulls. This machine here churns out all the material used on the models and so production never stops. There's another one. The resin is prepared and applied automatically with constant measuring of quantity, temperature and catalysts. This machine was built for Cranky and there's one in every plant. Some parts are built by hand though.
An automatic system distributes a quantity of resin and fibre exactly as indicated in the construction manual. The fiberglass and the resin are stretched out to form the hull, the bridge and other elements involved in construction. It's really important that the catalyst process for the resin happens at controlled temperature and humidity. Here you can see a colossal conditioning unit which creates those ideal conditions. Just think that in this enormous area the air is changed 44 times every hour, so it's the best possible for the workers. The boat's reinforcing mesh really packs a punch and there are even lightning bolts that remind you of the mirror. So the structural strength is evident. All the moulding operations are carried out in sequence, respecting expected process timings very precisely, even the break between one and the next. After a few days, Necessary for the moulding to dry, the hull is taken out. It's always an emotional moment, even if there are no doubts about how perfect the work is going to be. È nata una nuova barca appena estratta dallo stampo e siccome è stata realizzata nella A new boat is born as soon as it's out of the moulding. It's like it's been created in the right way, the right procedures. Look, it's perfect, the hull is super shiny. No need to retouch it, send it to the body shop to add plaster and paint. It's okay as it is, in fact, it's great. Now's the time to see if they've built it well. Usually I use a phonometer. Today though, I'm using slightly different instruments. Let's start by testing the gel coat. Oh, oh, 99. The maximum is 100. Fantastic! So let's check out how strong it is, how resistant. It's more than 50 short, and remember to have a good product, it needs to be above 35. Now we're going to do a kind of ultrasound on the hull. Perfect for the entire length of the boat. The instruments have passed the strength, durability and space efficiency test, so now it's time to go to the next step. The moulded parts are put in a cabin where a robotic cutter follows all the necessary puncture holes. This process is usually done by hand in other boatyards. You can imagine how precise a robot is. The machine makes no errors with its automatic control system from wherever it is on the boat. These two cutters are doing all the necessary holes on the boat to fix the shades for the air conditioning, even the extra accessories in the shipmate's cabin, all the holes. Boat construction carries on with the addition of machinery and furnishings. Cranky is producing 21 different models right now, which all need a total of 5,400 pieces, and the most important thing is having all of them ready and perfect when needed. So they need a huge warehouse. The millions of components are both produced by Cranky and other companies. Look how it works. An operator and computer prepare all materials necessary to build a certain model and organize it on a trolley which is then taken to the assembly line. Everything's there, down to the smallest screw. It's a normal process for the car industry, but rare in the boat sector.
The deck and hull are fitted out separately, so it's easier for the technicians, which means more precision again. Then the two pieces are put together. It's a delicate manoeuvre usually, but easy for Cranky. Dal funzionamento degli impianti dipende in gran parte la sicurezza della barca e il How the boats are put together significantly affects their security, which is why Cranky like to put everything together here in their own factory. Non finirei mai questo servizio se dovessi fare We'd never finish this feature if we showed you all the details of the boat, but we must show you something. This is a tube needed to carry the petrol to the engine, which somehow needs to be folded. Like this? No, wrong. This section is pared down here. Less petrol goes through and the engine doesn't operate so well. Cranky puts their tubes like this though. Even in the curves, the section is the same and just the right amount of petrol goes through. They make the electrical machinery in this area. There are machines that cut the cable to the exact length, splicing without cutting the copper, adding the right connector and then writing on top what the cable is needed for, so that electricians all over the world can easily work with it. But that's not all. To optimize costs, Cranky buys enormous reams of electric cabling. There's minimum waste too, as the plastic and copper are recycled. Other materials are recycled too, like the tubes, for example. Questo significa che non sprecano i loro soldi. Which means the money isn't wasted, i.e. our money, the money we spend on buying these boats. The furniture has been made and finished off in wood with numerically controlled machines that have made them perfectly. And as everything is perfect to the millimeter, when they're built, there's no need for any final adjustments. In fact, there's not even a speck of sawdust anywhere. They're secured with aluminium fixings, purpose-made. Some even have the cranky logo. They are mounted following maskers, so there's no positioning mistakes. The main office doesn't just design the boats, but the production methods too. The engineers devise the mathematics to calculate the moulds, as well as for these positioning maskers, and the ones that make the mechanical elements with incredible precision. Wood, used as a structural material, has all but disappeared here at Cranky. It's been substituted by new products, light and robust, that don't absorb humidity and don't rot. Steel elements are made by third parties, but the polishing is done here by an enormous and automized plant. Cranky prefers to do this directly too, so they've got more control over the quality. It is difficult to coordinate all the work, but it needs to be done, otherwise everything that's been spent on putting all this automation together would be lost. Mm 
Purtroppo non posso raccontarvi tutti i segreti per ovvie ragioni. Unfortunately, I can't tell you all their secrets, but I can tell you something special. Hanno utilizzato gli stessi adesivi strutturali che sono impiegati sulle They've used the same structural adhesives that Formula 1 cars use to fix the most important components in this machine room. When it's all together, the only thing left is to assemble the hull and bridge. E-boat is ready. Thinking about it in a different color, I'll show you the paint room. Here, you can paint boats that measure up to 24 meters, even longer. The automated plant is so perfect that the paint only goes on the boat. Everything else remains absolutely clean. The boat is finished and ready to be sent to who knows where in the world. But before setting off, it needs to be tested out, right here, inside Cranky, in a pool. Cranky has four production factories, all in the north of Italy, close to Lake Como. At Pientedo, the original site, then Colico and Rogolo for the larger boats, up to 80 meters. Then there are two plants in the region of Udine at San Giorgio di Nogaro. In one, smaller boats are produced, and in the other, the larger yachts are put together, putting together the bits that couldn't travel by road. At San Giorgio di Nogaro, there's the private key and Italo Monzino Marine Test Center, where all the cranky boats are tried out, 365 days a year, holidays included. As you've seen, it's difficult to build a boat, especially a top quality one. Cranky is really big, and I'm not talking about the size of their boats or the quality of different models they produce. It's more about the organization of the company, its production processes, which together with the projects and materials, form the foundations of quality, durability and security.